Sophia, would you wait in the corridor, please? I have some things to say to you. Yes, of course I will. I'm sorry, Cece. I wanted to tell you about my past, but I was so afraid. That's not important now. I want you to rest and get your strength, and then we'll talk. It's all I've been able to think about. Gina, now you listen to me. We'll talk about this another time. Now, you've been through a bad experience. You might have died. I don't want you worrying about anything right now. You just rest and get your strength. For me, please. Yes, I do want to get back. All right, you just lay still and rest. Why don't you close your eyes and try to get some sleep now? Will you stay with me? I'll be, I'll be close by. I just, I want to talk to Sophia and then I'll be right back. I don't want to lose you. Don't be foolish. You're not going to lose me. Try to sleep. Mom, we need you. Thank you. You just have to be strong and fight this divorce thing, okay? What's that? What are you saying to her? I just said I want her to stay married to you. So now this is something you ought to stay out of. You know, you're getting just like Mason. You're interfering in everything. Now, wait a second. This is deeply important to him. You must understand that. Damn it, Sophia. I'm tired of having my children dictate my personal life. I'll make my own decisions. So whatever happens between Sophia and I, it's private. I don't want any advice from outsiders, and I will not tolerate any interference from them. Uh, no, wait a minute. Do you mind telling me when I became an outsider? I always thought I was a part of this family, Dad. 